and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending February 12th, 2022. Some kind of weird anime news this week that we want to talk about because kind of, we, uh, kind of unusual because anime is usually very normal and very understandable, um, but you know, who knows. Um, so let us begin with a kind of an odd thing that happened this week. Um, the fabled Studio Sunrise is being restructured. Um, Bandai Namco Holdings announced uh, this week about the organization of its IP production unit, including the future of beloved anime studio Sunrise, but Bandai will combine its visual, music production, and creation businesses into one new IP production unit in April with Sunrise, Bandai Namco Arts, and Bankai Namco Rights Marketing, combining into the new umbrella company Bandai Namco Filmworks. Similar things being done with Sunrise Music, Bandai Namco Arts, and Bandai Namco Live Creative. The company emphasized in its press release, however, it'll still use and develop the individual brand name of Sunrise. Okay. Because why, why, why be straightforward when we can be confused? Right! Exactly! Um, they say mm. that even in the new reorganization, quote, each brand delivers unique works throughout the world, end quote. Which I don't think anyone was disagreeing with. <laughs> I don't think anyone was it's saying. It's just one of those no. things where, like, something terrible happens and go, that was Sunrise. That's <laughs> not, not Namco. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think it would be the, the opposite of anything. Um, Sunrise's current president and representative director will serve as president and director of the new Bandai Namco Filmworks, with the current presidents of Bandai Namco Arts and rights marketing moving to executive vice president and managing director, respectively. So Sunrise still sort of managing it. Basically, apparently, what, from what I've read, um, um, Bandai consolidated um, a, uh, all of its animation companies in, like, one building. So they were all, like, in one okay. place. And I'm then they were complex. like, why are we all separate? Like, like, why are we all in our own little silos? Why don't we all work together? Um, and they're like, okay, let's all bring everyone together. Uh, and they're like, well, we're all part of Bandai, so we shall be called Bandai. Or that was kind of the, the, the management thinking of um, the weird thing here, though, is that Sunrise is such a storied name. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. why would you, why would you not just call that Sunrise? And say, right. hey, everything is Sunrise now. Because Sunrise, I don't know. Granted, I mean, Sunrise is a storied name, but like, a, and they haven't exactly produced a new Gundam in, in a while. So right. maybe it's kind of like, well, it's, that's, you know, yes, it's a storied thing to 40-year-olds, but mo modern, talking okay. I don't know. I don't know. But it's weird. It's got to be about some some kind of uh, cash money has got to be yeah. with the, yeah. keeping the sunrise thing kicking around. I mean, you know, whether it's like 40th anniversary editions or whatever, and they're going to keep the sunrise name for, yeah. for you know, something. something. There is money involved in there, thinking. <laughs> you think? Maybe. Always the monies. Always, Always the, monies. the monies. All the monies. All the monies. Um, so we'll see as things kind of progress. Um, let's see here. Um, NPO animator supporters who manage their animator dormitory project and other initiatives to improve the problem of low wages for animators uh, have announced a new contest for manga creators. Mm. The Manga to Anime Short Film Contest is accepting short manga submissions from pro and amateur artists, with the top three submissions each winning a cash prize, and the first place entry also receiving an anime short film based on their submitted manga. Pretty cool. Ooh, pretty um, cool. Yeah. Entries are accepted through September. So it's a bit of a ways away, which is nice because it lets folks, you know, kind of ramp up. With the results posted around the end of December, um, the website notes that while this particular contest only provides the one-time prizes to winners, they hope to create a payment structure in the future where additional funds generated by someone's original work are also returned to the author. Um, mm. uh, obviously, that's very complicated to set up the first time around. So, like, we'll get there. Um, right. uh, they also mentioned that certain manga works are easier to adapt than others, <laughs> and that there have been, quote, many masterpiece mangas that have not received adaptations, end quote. The project would like this competition to be used as a platform to give such works adaptation, and by extension, the chance to be known by more people. Um, that's a little odd to me, because it sounds like they're kind of talking about two different things. It's like, there is manga right. that haven't been adapted to anime for very good reasons, because like, I have no idea how you do that. Um, and others where it's like just you know it never happened. So I don't know. Right. Um, 
but uh, well, some of yeah. them with their for their racy content, no doubt. But yeah, I mean, I gotta imagine there's stacks of of manga from eons back that really nobody's like, okay, we've got so many releases this year, yeah. and we can't focus on all the the pieces in between. Mm -hmm. Oh, wouldn't that be a job? All you have to do is just read manga and suggest what you can read. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sign up for that. I'm going to start in 1970 how... and move forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that how we got Love City? Yeah, pretty much, yes. That's the... There's also something as Glut. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's, it's interesting. I mean, I th there's definitely anime. I Well, ooh, that's the other interesting thing. Like, there is, like, critically acclaimed manga that you're probably never going... Like, there was a... I don't know if it was critically acclaimed, but there there's a manga about religious cultists um and kind mm. of talked about um Shin shinrikyo and all like they're really dangerous like religious cults in japan mm. and i'm like i can see that not getting an anime adaptation people going this is awesome great you're talking about it but no <laughs> we're not touching this still too soon <laughs> right um i would love it if they did kurosaki um corpse service oh yeah as an anime, that would that would be awesome. There wasn't I one? still want to see Onward to a Noble Death. Yeah. Uh, and actually, a lot of Mizuki stuff like that, where I, yeah, I can see people. Yeah. Going, yeah. <sighs> yeah. You know. Well, show as wonderful yeah. as it is, yeah. it would be Gosh. a really long anime. <laughs> yeah. or, or or how about Mizuki's Hitler? Oh. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Wouldn't want to touch that one with a 10-foot clock. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, they keep talking about doing an anime adaptation of uh, Tezuka's Buddha. Um, okay. But it's, it's amazing, never... but it would be so long. Yeah, well, uh -huh. and, and I mean, it's always like, we'll do a movie, we'll do an OVA, right? It's always, we'll do a chunk. But even there, I'm like... Uh, how would you, what, like, which part and yeah. how, and you know? People are going to protest. People are going to complain. Like... No matter mm -hmm. what you do with it, there's going to be a contingent of people who are like, how dare you do this? This doesn't represent it accurately and all that kind of stuff. From like, I, uh, yeah. who, who wants that pain? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and they won't just awesome. mutter quietly. No. no. They will like go absolutely off the wall. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. oh, here we go. Exactly. <laughs> Screaming, hair pulling, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, cats and dogs living together. <laughs> Living together. Uh, Absolutely. That's hysteric. <laughs> Gotta love it. Very quotable movie, Ghostbusters. Yes. Um, <laughs> Gundam announced, or Bandai announced, speaking of Bandai, they're planning to do real life gunpla battles. So, a new attraction coming to the Gundam Factory in Yokohama next month. <laughs> if the life size walking mobile suit wasn't enough, from March 6th to 13th, Fans can bring their own plastic Gundam models and participate in, quote, real-life Gunpla battles. The models will be virtually scanned and digitized and then pitted against one another in a winner-takes-all virtual battle. I, I, yes. I'm we are just yes! cl close to the point of having actual Gundam. Just, like, get on with yeah, this. we are. <laughs> this is the metaverse I want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This will be a, quote, test operation event, end quote, of the Road to Gunpla Battle Project, aiming to realize real Gunpla Battle at the Gundam Jeez. Factory. Um, and those who don't bring their own uh, models can still enjoy the battles as well with Gunpla prepared at the venue. So if they'll have Gunpla, you can pick out and say, I want, you know, here's a, here's an RX-78, here's a Zaku. Uh, of course. Holy crap! <laughs> So when the first Digimon awesome. realizes in this world, um, and the first Gunpla yeah. like appears over your shoulder and is like, <laughs> "Hey kids, let's go play!" You're like, okay, the real world's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> so here's what it I remind... want. To... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no. Oh, I was gonna say it reminds me a lot of when Disney launched Infinity. Yeah. And you'd mm -hmm. buy these little RFID figures, so you'd get like the base set. And then a, a reader platform and an RFID figure, yeah. and you'd touch it to the reader platform, and it would inject that character into your sandbox world. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's like this is, you know what I mean? Like sell the gun plug kits with a little RFID chip on the bottom and have them show up to these project points and just yeah. click it in, bam, mm -hmm. gun plug battles. I'm like, Absolutely. oh, God, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But go ahead, go ahead. Here's what I want to know. Which came first? Did they have plans to do this and then made the anime to seed the idea in people's minds? Or did they make the anime and people were like, you know, actually. I don't know. I, I literally cannot tell which way on this. There, there's a mysterious figure in the shadows <laughs> in the back of some alley in Tokyo that will answer your question simply, yes. Is he blonde and wearing a mask? That's all I want to know. Yes. <laughs> He won't tell you his name, but his business card is a can of Chardin. The plot thickens. <laughs> um, so, yeah, very, very interesting. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of mind blown. Um, the, the I wonder what. Thing. I wonder if you like if you, because I mean, gun plus stuff. People go full hog on this like oh, yeah. the detailing on the on the paint jobs everything mm -hmm. i wonder if you were digitizing these in if it's just purely okay i have a i have a unicorn or i have a zaku and oh, it's just that yeah, good call. or mm -hmm. is there something about this where it's like hey kids if you do like or adults if you do like a super fantastic job when it scans in it gives your your actual right. gun claw, right. that's like whole... this plus bonus right. because it's done so point. well. And it's like, yeah. Ooh, I wonder. Yeah. What if this, and I'm being serious kind of, what if this is the beginning where they go, okay, we're scanning this stuff in and it's working and we got our little virtual virtual mod world going. Mm -hmm. We're going to do Gundam, Gundam Impact, like Genshin Impact. You have an entire world yeah. It's Genshin. It's Genshin, but it's Gundam. Yeah. Instead. An open yeah. world MMO. Kind no, of thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've done a bunch of obviously um, Gundam battle games. Right. Um, and there's the Battle Operation Front Two. I think is the the big one now, which is basically an MMO. But it's, as I recall, it's you know here are the six you know battle grounds that you can fight in. Right, where it's like, okay, fine, yeah. you know, I want to fight here, I like here, right there. Um, I played it once, it's been a while. <coughs> Apologies, video gamers. Um, but yeah, there's nothing like the, you know, n nothing on that scale of here is a thing. And more importantly, and this is the, well, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the problem. Is it, it's Gundam. It's not, it's not Gundam Wing, it's not Gundam Seed. There's no cohesive universe. So how do you do that unless I... Mm. I don't you know. Just do. Or, you yeah, just do. or you just do. Because the thing is, in, in Gunpla Battle, they're just in a battlefield. Like, you know... Right. There's... They are... Technically, the, the players are piloting it. But there's no, like, story going on. It's just a, 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 a big thing. So... Right. You could just say, these are just mecha in a world flying around, interacting with things, um, and we can go wherever we want with that. <laughs> or you can give it a robot shot script. No, let's not do that. No. <laughs> let's not do that, please. I just, I mean, I'd love to see something where it's like your pilot character is a pilot cadet, mm -hmm. and you right. get your first Gundam, and it's like a beat-up heap of crap. It's like you quest and you do yeah. things to get parts, to get allies, to then confront other factions, mm -hmm. to then yeah. you, you know what I mean. It's like right, right. Uh, that exist. would be wonderful. I mean, but like on the on the sandbox scale of like the the not the like sandbox for yeah. but, but the giant MMO scale of like that Genshin could be once all the lands are open, where you have days of I wandering mean, around the, the scape. They, they they did one a couple of years ago. Like there there was an. I'm remembering now. There was an op there, there was a um, a Gundam MMO that was um, side three. Here you go, and it, cool. everyone was on a colony, and you were all part of a big you know story thing, and it lasted like nine months because it was hideously expensive, <laughs> as I recall. Aww. And they had to shut it down. They're like, we just can't keep it. No, you know this is cool. All of the ideas in there, but it would just. It just Listen. Let's have, let's have that Isekai. Right! No, yeah, let's exactly. Let's have that Gundam Isekai. Yeah. Gundam goes Isekai. That's, that's what we have. Um, <laughs> a bunch of play, yeah. players trapped in that world. Yeah. Yep. 
exactly. Um, uh, yeah, John, and that's the, uh, the, um, the, the MechWarrior control system is exactly what the arcades are like. Like, if you go into one of the, Gund- the, the Gundam... Gundam Pods, I think they're called? Um, yeah. It is literally, you know, a, a self-enclosed system, joysticks, the whole thing. Like, you are you are absolutely piloting Gundam in, in those already. They, they've had that for years. Yeah, like, it's... Oh, it's amazing. Um, oh, it's interesting. Um... Because the other question is, like, and to, to your point, what they're setting this up is as an event space. You know, you go to this place to have your Gundam battles. Yeah. You, you don't go back to your home and have, you know, your PC set up and so forth. Right. So, so the question is, like, are they going after that model where this is, like, just a special one-off thing or special individual locations? Or could they go in the, in, in the direction of this is a game that you play for three hours a day at home? Yeah. Mm. Or it could be like, what was it? Um, was it the the robot um, robot wars? What, what, what was the the contest where people made the robots? Battlebots. Battlebots, right? Oh God, yeah, Grant Imahara. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What what if it was like it was televised? So you would have the, the, oh, the right. people come up, match up, and yeah. you you do the thing, and then it's you know. Oh, hmm. you're absolutely right. Esports are huge. That totally yeah. makes sense, um, which is probably why they're doing this. They're like, if if we can make this a thing, then it can become an esport. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. E-sport. That's it. That is absolutely the play, because, like, uh, you know, Overwatch. There, there, oh, there's an Overwatch league. Like, like there's yeah. massive money in these things. So yeah, why not? I'm sure Bonnet's looking at that saying, mm. we have a thing. Why don't we make money off a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Go figure that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's make more money off of the money. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Why didn't we think of this earlier? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I would just love to see the tech behind all this because, uh, you know, scanning a gunpla, however they're doing that, is that's a, hmm, interesting um, yeah, I, I would like and, to sit down and see yeah, a video yeah. of how this whole yeah. thing's laid out and done. And I agree. I think what's happening is they are basically scanning it against a a database of of pre existing three D models and saying, "Oh, this is a Zaku two. We are loading that model that we already have in here. We're not literally like scanning this and using this, right? Because um, that would just be insane." <laughs> but who knows? Um, I'll say that'd be pretty amazing because, like, when you take like giant beam cannons and glue them on like different mm-hmm. places, be like, that's not how the original Gundam. No, no, it's much more powerful. <laughs> it is and, a game changer. Well, that's, that's one of the things in in uh, um, in the the Gunpla Builders universe is that you can stick all that stuff on, but like there are always trade offs. So you know, yes, you have you know five cannons on there, and you can fire them once. Yeah. That drains all the energy off of your gun plan. It's like upright, you know. <laughs> and you can't move. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now I'm, I can't. So, so what's the limiting factor on all this? Physics. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Newton. No. <laughs> uh, also this week, <clears throat> items we wanted to mention and bring up: uh, a new website revealed on Thursday that a Reiwa era anime project is in the work for K- Akita's. Zen Ryoku Usagi manga is a gag comedy story centering around hard-working construction employees who also happen to be cute rabbits um, and live by the motto, live with everything you've got. The <laughs> manga already inspired a series of 52 shorts back in 2008. Um, a new anime short began streaming this week based on the manga June by Shotaro Ishinomori, uh, common writer of Super Sentai and Cyborg 009 fame. Um, mm-hmm. A short titled A City That Changes, A City That Can Change, Ishinomaki featuring June, uh, contains no dialogue, just like the original manga, and mixes the autobiographical story of the original manga with scenes of the sh- city of Ishinomaki rebuilding after the devastation of the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Yeah, Ishinomaki is uh, Ishinomori's hometown. Also holds a museum dedicated to his works, so that's a lot. Yeah, right there. Huh. It's um, cool, but a lot going on right there. Um, also, a lot is Jujutsu Kaisen, 
uh, one of the popular anime in recent times, with its movie still heading, uh, heat, um, heading the box office charts in Japan as we speak. And this week, fans have more to look forward to as season two has been announced for 2023. Special illustration drawn as usual. Um, the adorable cheese sweet home manga is getting a new chapter to the next issue of Morning Magazine. Um, it officially ended back in 2015. And the beloved manga series often have tributes and celebrations, but it's not every day what inspires a whole building. Tokyo's Katsushika Ward announced on Monday that it is planned to build a memorial hall for Osamu Akimoto's Kochikame manga in the ward's Kamiari neighborhood, where the manga is set. Uh, Kochikame is a legendary um, police comedy in Shonen Jump. This is the one where they don't list the issue number because at one point they lost track. <laughs> it's been going for so long, they just, they're not sure anymore. Um, <laughs> the local government has set aside 89 million yen, or around 770,000 US dollars, and hopes to finish the fall in 2024. The project has consulted with Akimoto himself and aims for the hall to, quote, feel like stepping into the manga's world, end quote. Hmm. Interesting. Dang. Hmm. You know, Ghibli Museum, Kochikame building, animes invading the real world. Step by step. Neo Tokyo, you know. Yeah, exactly. Dunbar. You need to bring back Anne of Green Gables. Absolutely. Park. Yes! Bring back uh, Canada World. Canada World. Yeah. <laughs> Which you could do, actually. Well, I, I, yeah. It's a public park now, so I don't know if you could revert that. Like, can you can you turn that back into an actual, like, enterprise? I don't know. But it's still there. You know, you can still visit it. No. <laughs> That's all the news the this legendary week. Canada World Memorial. <laughs> legendary Canada World Memorial. <laughs> um, That's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. We will see you all next week.